The Incas arrived in South America around 1200 CE. They built an empire that eventually stretched 2,500 miles north to south along South America's western coast. The Incan Empire included three geographical locations, coastal desert, mountains, and jungle. The Incas lived between the coastal desert and the Amazon jungle in what are now known as the Andes Mountains. The Incas called themselves the Children of the Sun. They were master builders. They had a great understanding of architecture, engineering, mathematics, agriculture, hydraulics, astronomy, and military strategy. But they never developed a writing system. They kept their history alive through storytelling or oral tradition. The height of the empire was around the 14 to 1500s. The Andes Mountains are a mountain range located on the western border of South America. The mountains are steep, rocky, and can be cold due to the high altitude. Some facts about the Andes Mountains. They run along South America's western side, and they are among the world's longest mountain ranges. Its varied terrain encompasses glaciers, volcanoes, grassland, desert, lakes, and forests. From Venezuela in the north, the range passes through modern-day countries of Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Argentina, and Chile. The vast Incan Empire included dry, cold, and warm regions. The Incas adapted their agricultural techniques. Many of the Incan people lived in high mountainous areas. Flat land was very scarce. So the Inca built terraces into slopes of hills and mountains to create areas for planting. This provided them with flat land in hilly areas. The Incas had a strong central government ruled by an emperor called Sapa Inca, meaning the only Inca. The Sapa Inca was an absolute ruler, and he lived a life of great luxury. He would drink from gold and silver cups, wear silver shoes, and lived in a palace furnished with the finest textiles. You could say he was pampered to the extreme. Laws were strict, and punishment was harsh and swift for the people. The government made sure that no one was hungry or homeless, but the people would have to work hard in return. One of the most famous emperors of the Incan Empire was Pachacuti. Pachacuti preferred to not use his strong army, but he would if he had to. He would offer peace and let people join the empire if they paid taxes and accepted Incan leadership. The Incan would sing songs whenever they would conquer other peoples. One of their victory songs was this. We'll drink from your skull. From your teeth, we'll make a necklace. From your bones, we'll make flutes. Incan society was divided into two large classes, the nobles and the commoners. The Sapa Inca was born to his position and was all-powerful. The Inca people were organized into family units of 10 to 20 people called Alus. Royal family members led a life of luxury. Common people had little to no freedom and were required to do hard labor. Incas were polytheistic. They believed in many gods and goddesses. They believed their emperor was the direct descendant of the sun god, Inti. They believed in an afterlife and mummified their dead. The Incas did not have a lot of advanced technology. They did not have the wheel or iron tools, but they did use terrace farming. They developed a method of freezing food in the snow to help preserve food. They captured snow and rainfall for irrigation to water their crops. The Inca also used astronomy for religious ceremonies and festivals and to know when to plant their crops. The Incas were excellent builders. They built well-planned cities with a central plaza surrounded by public buildings and temples. They connected their empire with well-built roads and bridges over rivers. The Incan roads stretched over 15,000 miles and were often paved with stone. Messengers known as Chosquis ran on the roads that connected the empire. Not only would the Chosquis transport messages, they could use a kipu, which is a counting device made of knotted string. They could count or keep records of numerous things with the kipu. The roads and stone buildings have withstood centuries of earthquakes. Machu Picchu is a famous Incan site that sits high on the Andes Mountains. It was a royal estate for Incan nobles that was forgotten by outsiders for more than 300 years. Locals used its terraces for farming and aqueducts for water, but it was considered undiscovered until 1911 when a local guide showed the site to a professor named Hiram Bingham. One of the questions that you have to ask when you're looking at the Incan Empire is what happened to the Incas? By the time that the Spanish arrived, the Incan Empire covered most of modern-day Ecuador and Peru, much of Bolivia, and parts of Argentina and Chile. Needless to say, it was a huge empire. Spanish invaders fought fierce battles with the Incas. 
In the mid-1500s, the Spanish killed the last Sapa Inca and conquered the Incan Empire. Many Incan descendants live in the country of Peru today. We'll learn more about the collapse of the Aztec and Incan empires when we examine the Spanish conquistadors' arrival to Meso and South America.